Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Sheets API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets API to add and delete worksheets. To add and delete a worksheet, I'll be using the add sheet request and delete sheet request. Now let's go into our Python editor. Here I'm going to create my request body object. I'm going to insert the request is object. And it's going to be a list. If we look at the JSON representation, so let's go into uh, ASCII request. The ASCII request has a properties uh, parameter. And within that parameter, we need to dig into the JSON representation of the sheet properties. From the sheet properties, we can provide information such as the title, index, which is the worksheet position in the Google spreadsheet and sheet type. So here, let me go into sheet type. If your worksheet is going to contain a chart object, then you will use the object sheet type. And otherwise, you want to use the grid uh, sheet type. And we can set whether or not you want the worksheet to be hidden. We can set the tab color, tab color style. And we can insert the uh, worksheet from right to left or left to right. It's up to you. I won't be using all the properties, but I'll just pick a couple that I think is useful you know, in general. So here I'm going to insert the ASU request properties. And we can provide the title. So let's name this title. Dummy sheet. We know by default, when you create a worksheet, you have 1,000 rows and 26 columns. If you want to change the default row count and column count, we can insert grid property. Then we can uh, specify the row count. So let's say I want to have just 20 rows. For the column, I will insert column count as the property name. I want to have five columns by default. I can also specify the uh, worksheet tab color. So I can insert the RGB value. For Google Sheets API, it uses uh, the value between zero and one. So you might need to convert the value. So I'm going to insert a random value. So let's do 0 0.6 for red, 0 0.5 for green, and 0 0.8 is your A7 for blue. Let's do 55, and let's change the red value to 44. And for the hidden value, I'm going to set that to false. And let me just double check. Oh, and I forgot to wrap the SG request with a curly bracket. So let me fix that. Now I can make an API call. So here, let me insert my service object dot spreadsheets dot batch update. I need to provide the spreadsheet ID the body that asks a queue. And here's a typo, let me fix that. Now if I press F5 to run the script, and if I go to my spreadsheet, and here's my dummy sheet worksheet, and we can see the tab color is set to blue. And we set the default rows to 20 rows and five columns. Let's say I want to create multiple worksheets. So here, let me copy this and just make a copy. So if I want to create multiple worksheets, I'll create an array object. And let's name this object languages. And I'm going to type various of uh, programming language name. So go Python, Java, VBA, and SQL, maybe just five. I'm going to change this to tuple. 
I think that's a much better practice since we won't be modifying the language's object. Now all we need to do is just to write a loop. So I'm going to say that for language in languages. I'm going to indent this uh, code block. And we paste dummy sheet string with language. And I'll leave everything the same. Now if I press F5 to run the script, I can see the script is finished. Now if I go to my spreadsheet, and here are the five worksheets got created. And to delete a worksheet, we'll grab the worksheet ID. I'll create a request body object. So let me paste the worksheet ID. I'm going to copy this code block and paste and make coming out this code block. And I'll delete this. And this is going to be delete sheet. It's a delete sheet. And we need to provide the sheet ID to the sheet ID parameter. And let me cut and paste uh, the word sheet ID. And if I run the script, I should expect what she go should get deleted. So if I press F5 to run the script and go back, I can see what she go is now deleted. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.